First, some may think this is a plan to pick on the homeless, but it's far from it. Some say it's actually a dream come true. A free trip out of South Florida bound for a new home reunited with family. CBS 4's Ted Scout is in Fort Lauderdale with more on the just approved program. Get in here with mama. <laughs> this is my grill. For Vicki Nugent, Bambi is her only family right now, and her home is here at Stranahan Park, downtown Fort Lauderdale. She never dreamed that one day she'd be homeless. I came here because my boyfriend was on the run, and I left Johnstown, Pennsylvania, and came here five years and four months ago. And I've been here ever since. I just got stuck. Can't explain it. Vicki had no idea that Fort Lauderdale is about to begin a new program that could send her home. People like Vicki can get a one-way bus ticket home if there's someone on the other end to pick them up and help them out. I have three younger sisters and all my grandchildren and my daughters and two of my sons. It's beneficial to the homeless people. Sean Canoni runs a homeless shelter. He says if Fort Lauderdale right runs its program the same way Broward County does and the homeless are not forced onto buses to leave, he's all in favor. We need to not force the homeless into leaving town. That's their God-given right to be wherever they want to be. But if they do want to go home and the city's willing to push, you know, put them home, I think it's a great opportunity for both parties. Vicki says she's going to look into it, hoping to one day leave life on the streets behind. When you think about home, what do you, what do you think about? I, baking, cooking, Christmas caroling, where I come from, a small coal mine in town. You know, we do it yearly. So far, the city knows of at least 100 people who are interested in the program. They expect this whole thing is going to begin sometime in early January. In Fort Lauderdale, I'm Ted Scout, CBS 4 News.